Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This is a set based on conditionals and uh, it says that Mr. Reddy was murdered at his home and his case was handed over to Mr. Brabkesh. And uh, there are three possible uh, places where the murder could have happened and uh, three possible weapons for murder or there were three suspects as well. Okay. <clears throat> Some facts were revealed during the case analysis and these are the facts given to us that three su suspects met at uh, three different places and they did not know two of them met at him at one place. Okay. And each one of them had only one of the weapons and some conditions given that if uh, he was the killer, uh, then this is the weapon and if he's the, uh, he's the killer, then uh, he met uh, that person here. So those kind of conditions are given to us. Okay, so uh, now finally we are given that based on the above information and further analysis, Mr. Byomkesh found out that Yash is the murderer, right? So we know that the murderer is Yash based on the detective's investigation. Okay, so what is, uh, how did he figure out that we are not given? Now we have to answer the question that where did the murder take place? Okay, so we know the murderer. Now, if we see the statements, one statement says, if the murderer, murder, murderer is found, statement number nine, if the murderer is found, so he is found, then Surajit was in the bedroom. Okay, so let us write uh, these three people and uh, like uh, Surajit, Pawan, and Yash, the place where they were. And the weapon they had. So each of them used uh, had one one weapon each, but only one of them killed the person. Okay. So if the murder is found, that Surajit was in the bedroom. So he was in the bedroom. Okay. Uh, now, if if now if we connect these, right? Like it's it's sort of a para jumble kind of thing. You have to connect the sentences. And the next sentence is, if Surajit was in the bedroom, then murder happened in washroom. Okay. So, uh, the murder happened in washroom. So, that means Yash is the murderer. So, he killed him in the washroom. Okay. Now, the third place is kitchen. So, this person must have been in the kitchen. Uh, the Pawan must have been in the kitchen. Okay. Now, uh, we have like wherever the if condition is false, the condition does not follow. Like if murderer is Pawan, we know that he is not Pawan. Okay, uh, the murder was done in kitchen, right? So, uh, that means, right, the murder is not done in kitchen. If murder weapon is rife, then uh, Mr. Reddy was murdered in the kitchen, right? So, Mr. Reddy was not murdered in the kitchen, right? Mr. Reddy was murdered in the washroom. So, murder weapon is not knife, right? So, we know that it is not knife. So, it will be eggs or pistol. Okay. So, uh, where did the murder, uh, murder take place? We can tell that the murder took place in the washroom. Okay. But we do not know uh, the weapon that was used. Okay. So, we will figure out completely and then we can answer the remaining questions also. So, we have, uh, next we have is, uh, if Yash is not the murderer, right? But Yash is the murderer. So, this, see, whenever... A conditional is given and the if part is not true. So, the condition does not hold, right? So, the murder weapon can be pistol, cannot be pistol. If murder took place in washroom, then the X was placed in the kitchen, right? So, we know that this is true, that murder took place in the washroom. So, that means X was in the kitchen. So, this is X here, okay? And uh, if the murder weapon is X, that is not X. If murder took place in the bedroom, that did not happen. If Pawan and Mr. Reddy met in the kitchen, right? Yes, Ms. Pawan and Mr. Reddy met in the kitchen. Then Surajit had the knife. So, Surajit had the knife. Okay, Surajit had the knife and Yash must be having the pistol. So, that means that this is how we will solve it, right? So, we will find for the true statements. So, one true statement that is given to us that Yash is the murderer. So, from that we link these statements. Out of these uh, 12 statements 1, 2, 3 and 4 were applicable. So, only those, uh, the if part is true, then only we will check the condition. If the if part is false, we ignore that. Okay, so what that's what we did. So, we figured out that if part was true for this, 
then we found out surajit was in the bedroom and then surajit was in the bedroom murder happened in washroom okay and uh, if it happened in washroom then x was in the kitchen so that how we filled everything okay all right now uh, we can answer the questions where did the murder take place that was in washroom uh, what is the murder weapon so the murder weapon is the pistol okay so uh, murder happened in the washroom. Yes, she was the murderer and the weapon was pistol. Where did Pawan meet Mr. Reddy? So, Pawan met Mr. Reddy in the in the kitchen. Which weapon was placed in the bedroom? So, weapon was placed in each of the three places. So, if we talk about the bedroom, so we had the uh, the knife placed in the bedroom. Okay, so that is the solution to this set. It was a simple one, just that you required uh, some sort of uh, knowledge of conditionals that if part is like, if the if part is true, then only you check for this part. Agar ye true hai, tabhi aap ye check karte ho. Agar ye false hai, then you do not check for this part. Or because it may be true, it may be false also. Right, we cannot determine. So that was the rationale behind solving this. And it was a simple set, could have been done uh, in 5-6 minutes easily. So, uh, if you like this question, so please do like the video.